All right, legends, welcome back. CH, Village Park Source. So in the last video, we talked about how to do voiceovers in iMovie. In this video, I wanna talk about backgrounds. Backgrounds are great for intros, outros, segues. You can add titles over them. You could do picture in picture. You can use your own background image. So click on backgrounds up here. Now we've got these world maps that are very cool. They're very professional, especially if you're putting together like a trip you went traveling on, like a documentary or something. We will talk about that more specifically in the next video. I'm a big fan of these. In the meantime, a more introduction 101 to backgrounds would be something down here. So you can scroll over these backgrounds. You can see if it's kind of animated, kind of looks like a GIF, dot GIF image, or if it's static, this is just solid. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop this, even though this isn't at the beginning of my project. Just drag it to the beginning if you want it to be an introduction. Uh, to the right, if you want it to be longer, to the left, if you want it to be shorter, and I'm going to put some text over it. I like this, I like this rustic look. It looks like, oh, it is kind of moving. Cool, we'll run with it, and I'll put a title over it. We'll call this, we'll call it anything. We'll literally call it anything, and I'll just get rid of, drag that, I'll get rid of, this and I'll get rid of that. Well, I guess I'll use this middle line and we'll make it red, even though we already talked about titles. Nope, it's not going red. How do we do the red again? Oh, because we got to double click on that. There we go. Anything. So let's go to the back of our background. And let's watch it morph. All right, this is how we could do an intro. We could do outro. You could do this if you want to run your credits, your casting, any of that. So what else can we do? We can do picture in picture with this. So say I've got, this is a DuckTales. No, where's my media? Go ahead and grab an image. I'll grab my Freddy Krueger, just some random stuff I got going on up here from some video I made on my other channel. I'm gonna drag it up here. And how long is that video? You know what, I'm going to, there it is. How we do drag and drop, or I'm sorry, picture in picture. Click on this little video overlay setting up here. Click on picture in picture. And click on this again. There it is. So we've got, I know this isn't exactly like green screen. Uh oh, I didn't take the audio out. Okay, you get the idea though. And you can also use your own background images. So I'll get rid of this, we'll delete that, we'll delete all this stuff. What I'm gonna do is I just found this super cool Mario JPEG right here. I'm gonna pull it over here and then drag and drop it. Where's my iMovie? It's on my external monitor. And let's drag our Mario RPG back in there. And my dimensions for this are 1280 width by 720 height. That's kind of just the gist. You can put title over it. You could put this. No, I don't want to get rid of, I want to get rid of the uh, Ken Burns and we'll click to fit. So that's it. That's how you play around with backgrounds in iMovie and you could create your own. And uh, in the next video, we'll talk about those maps. All right, guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense. I'll see you over there.